From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Hello, and welcome to the Breaking News, the show where we don't know what we're about to say and aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Cameron Bailey. And I'm the bad guy from that NWA video. (laughs) Really? Because you look like if Eminem grew up in a house with both parents. Nope, I'm the worst. Not just in general either, you're also the worst at this game, you giggly, gangly motherfucker. So (laughs) we're thrilled that you volunteered to punish yourself by attempting to keep your mouth full of water throughout the entirety of this shoot. Uh Uh-huh. I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. This is a good idea. (laughs) Okay, so I... Oh, (laughs) hey, you know what? It's the microphone's funeral. Yeah, that's right. Get it all in there. You like that, you little piggy, don't you? Oink, oink. Meanwhile, everyone, feel free to hurl insults at Grant throughout the shoot. Now to our co-anchor, Bo, with a story on Chicago's world-famous hot dog stand, the Wiener Circle. I understand that you FaceTime with the Wiener Circle, a restaurant known for roasting their customers, and ask them, what's the difference between a Chicago-style hot dog and a real hot dog? That's right. What was the point of this story? Well, it's funny you should ask that. The point of the story is that there's two different kinds of hot dogs, right? There's great hot dogs, and then there's hot dogs that people from Chicago think are better. Like celery salt's gonna do fucking anything on your hot dog. You idiots. Chicago sucks. There, I said Mm -hmm. it. You dumbasses. The only place worse than Chicago is Ohio. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Sorry, what was that, Grant? Uh, Little pickle. Listen, Ohio's the fucking armpit of the country. This fucking dumb shit state that makes everyone look at it every four <laughs> years. Like, like, oh no, we might choose the right president this time. And they always fucking fuck it up. Everyone gives Florida shit, and Ohio fucks up way harder than anyone else. No. Fuck Ohio, is my point. Cedar point. All right, and uh, what did they say in response to uh, roast you? They told me that uh, they were just going to take a pass on me and go right to Grant mm. because because it was like going hunting and seeing a much bigger deer that, that you wanted to bring down. Yeah. They basically just talked about how, like, what a boring life you must lead to watch roller coaster videos in your spare time. <laughs> like. <laughs> it's like, like, we get everything's closed, but truly you could do anything at your house right now. <laughs> Figure out what to do with your life, you know? They were a lot meaner than that. They really went after your insecurities. Or in this case, they really went after Grant's insecurities. Could you reenact that, please? Like, for instance, it's so sad to to, to watch someone past their sexual prime mm. still really go for it. Mm-mm. It wasn't that long ago that Grant was talking about how he changed his whole hairstyle because some <laughs> Zoomer made fun of him on the internet. <laughs> All it took was one anonymous 12 year old and this idiot over here changed up his whole appearance. Ooh, brutal. Yep. And now to our correspondent, Lindsay with the weather. Lindsay, describe what the sky looks like outside today. But before you do, please keep in mind the curse the witch put on you that prevents you from mentioning colors or saying any words that start with the letter C. If you do, you have to imitate a sperm fertilizing an egg. Yeah, I know. So anyway, uh, the sky today is tinged with yellow. Oh, shit. (laughs) I walked right into that one. Cool. So let's talk about sperm and eggs. So imagine you're anyone except Grant O'Brien, who's as infertile as they come. Mm. And to be clear, that's not because he's like shooting blanks or anything. It's just because he can't get it up. <laughs> no, it's not because of medical reasons. It's because he's used his dick close to a microwave too, too many times. How else are you going to get your burrito nice and warm so you can fuck it? <laughs> Imagine the sperm makes its way into the egg. Here's little sperm uh, swimming around. It taps into the egg and racing with other sperm. It enters the egg. Over time, it slowly but surely develops uh, like this into a proper baby, unless that sperm and egg combination happens to have been Grant O'Brien, in which case it develops an unusually tall stature, even in the womb. Mm. Mm. 
Sure, it's like the remake of Willy Wonka with a real stretched out taffy kid. That's exactly right. Hey, Grant, hanging in there, you bitch? Yeah, you bitch. Oh, moon bomb. You're all gonna get yours in hell. Aaron Burr. Remember the Got Milk commercial? Of course you do, because you're old as fuck, Grant. <laughs> Hey, Grant, add a baby, eats a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lily doesn't even know that one, Grant. I'm a very young man. I'm very young. Stupid. And now for our top story, how former French pastry chefs turned pirates sailed to Cuba to dig up buried treasure. How did these French pastry chefs turn to a life of maritime piracy to begin with? God, I did a thing where I read the words, but I didn't process the thoughts, so I really don't know what I'm supposed to be explaining right now. Something to do with with pastry chefs becoming pirates. Now, if you ask me, a pirate wouldn't make a good pastry chef. Uh, probably come out uh, about as well as one of Grant O'Brien's cocktails. I actually think that Grant makes some pretty good cocktails. The problem is just that he cares about it too much. (laughs) Absolutely. He really wants to make a thing of it. (laughs) We are off the rails. What are we, Grant? We're off the rails. The rails. And because I've lost the thread on this, what I instead will be writing, the number 44... Which is how old I think Grant looks. Mm. I'm going to Look, the point is, I certainly learned something. And now for our national anthem, Lindsay. I forgot the words, so instead I will howl like a wolf to the tune of the national anthem. Great. Correspondent goes on the Instagram live and howls like a wolf. Oh, you no. Have to be kidding oh, me. no. <sighs> wow. How do you get to Instagram live? I've never done one before. Well, now who's old? Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. I'm not even gonna look at. I'm not even gonna look. Big finale. I can't hit the side note. What is the show? (laughs) That does it for us here on Breaking News. But before we go, we'll let you know that today's loser is Grant. Grant, is there anything you'd like to add? We're all the same age. We're all the same age. It's not true. Grant, you're 44. I'm distinctly younger than you. Oh, oh, gosh. Grant remembered voting in the Reagan election.